hello in this lesson we are going to show that u equals tangent inverse of y on x is a solution to the differential equation the u square on the square x plus the u square on the square y equals zero now we have u equals tangent inverse of y on x so to do this we take partial derivative of u with respect to x and then we will take partial derivative of u with respect to y but before we do that let us take derivative of the tangent inverse this gives us 1 divided by 1 plus the square of the angle. That is y on x all squared. Wow. And then we differentiate y on x partially with respect to x. That's great. Now let's take 1 on 1 plus y on x squared and then simplify. This gives 1 plus y squared on x squared, which simplifies to x squared plus y squared divided by x squared. So if I divide this by 1, the whole thing turns upside down to become x squared divided by y squared plus x squared. Now, we write here x squared divided by x squared plus y squared. Now we rewrite this one as del del x into y times x power negative 1. And if we differentiate this partially with respect to x, we get negative y times x power negative 2, which is negative y divided by x squared. So we replace here by negative y divided by x squared. And here x squared cancels x squared. We have partial derivative of u with respect to x equals negative y divided by x squared plus y squared. That's very simple as that. Please, I hope you are following it step by step. Can you like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments? Now, let's see. We need the square u on the x squared. So, what do we do? Let us use the quotient rule. Here, we take partial derivative of the numerator that is negative y with respect to x times the denominator minus partial derivative of the denominator that is x squared plus y squared with respect to x times the numerator that is negative y all divided by the denominator square that is x squared plus y squared all squared if i differentiate negative y partially with respect to s i get zero zero times all this gives zero negative times negative gives positive if I differentiate y squared partially with respect to x, it's 0. If I differentiate x squared partially with respect to x, I get 2x. So I multiply 2x by positive y to get positive 2xy. All divided by x squared plus y squared, all squared. This gives the squared u on the x squared in a very simple way. Please, can you like, share, follow, and comment for us to board the mathematics community you know if you share others will also uh, get this amazing uh, lesson to watch and also uh, learn a lot from what we are doing here okay so that is our the square u on the x squared so let's see the partial derivative of u with respect to y okay so in this case, we will differentiate the tangent inverse. And this will give us 1 divided by 1 plus the angle. That is y on x. And we square the angle. Times the partial derivative of y on x with respect to y. Wow. I nearly made a mistake. But um, let's move with it. Okay. This one, when we simplify, at first we had x squared divided by x squared plus y squared now this one we can rewrite it as del del y into one on x times y so if we take partial derivative of this with respect to y we get one on x wow so with this x will cancel one of the x squared and it will remain with x divided by x squared plus y squared as del u on del y now, let us take the second derivative. 
the square u on the y square is simple using the quotient rule. So we take x squared plus y squared times the partial derivative of the numerator, that is x with respect to y, minus the numerator x times the partial derivative of the denominator, that is x squared plus y squared with respect to y, all divided by x squared plus y squared all squared. So here, if we differentiate x partially with respect to y, we get 0. So the entire expression here will be 0. Here, if we differentiate x squared partially with respect to y, 0. If we differentiate y squared partially with respect to y, we get 2y. So we have minus x times 2y gives minus 2xy, all divided by x squared plus y squared all squared. This gives the squared u on the y squared. Wow. We are almost done. That's very great. Hope you are enjoying the lesson. Please kindly give me a like, share my videos, and comment for us to board the mathematics community. So if we add the square u on the s square plus the square u on the y square, what do we get? We take 2xy divided by x square plus y square all squared plus this will give us minus 2xy divided by x squared plus y squared all squared. Wow, and definitely this is going to give us zero, hence proved. So now we can clean the question mark and write the zero. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment.